The water was cold and flowing much faster than it looked. The force of the current had pushed against the small fifth grader as he stood in the middle of the river. As a fifth grader, his body was not able to fight the current as fiercely as his mind had convinced him that it could. Little by little, the current slid each of his feet across the slippery rocks of the riverbed before finally forcing his entire body up against a large boulder that split the river. He took the short rest that the boulder had provided for him to try to come up with a game plan for how he was going to get back to shore. But no matter what he did, he knew that the current was going to be too strong for him. And as he stood there waiting, wedged against the boulder, scanning for a possible escape route, he felt a hand clamp down on his shoulder and he turned around to see his dad standing there. His dad grabbed him, grabbed him by the hand and led him safely to shore. Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verses are Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. And three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. I was that fifth grade boy stuck in a tiny mountain river outside of Redmond, Oregon. I remember the fear I felt when I was up against the full, full force of that tiny, tiny river. And looking back, I realized that I was probably not in that much danger. And I could have just made my way to shore if I had simply swam the short distance to shore instead of fighting the current so much. But it brings up a reality of who we are as people. If we truly believe the story of creation and that we are made in God's image, then we must also believe that we are like God in some ways. As we explore the Bible, we see that our God exists uh, in this mind-boggling relationship with himself called the Trinity. We have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are three persons that exist as one God, not the same, but also not separate from one another. In fact, they have existed in perfect community with one another for almost all of eternity except for that one moment that Jesus took our sin upon himself and our sin became a barrier between God the Father and God the Son. And if we are made in God's image, the image of one who is in perfect community, then we also will need to be in community as well. I believe that is why God hates sin so much. Sin destroys the community, the relationships between us and God, between us and each other. So if you wanna live out your life the way that God has designed you to, you need to have relationships uh, in your life that are supportive and encouraging in nature. You need that for yourself and you need to do that for each other. Sometimes our selfishness or our schedules or maybe even our own insecurities keep us from developing relationships with one another. But I would like to challenge you to begin intentionally finding those people and investing in those relationships. If you have someone in your life already who is a good friend and an encourager, then pour into that relationship and do the same for them. And if you don't have anyone in your life that is like that, then do everything you can uh, to uh, find someone like that and make them a part of your life. Meet someone new at church this next weekend. Sign up for a life group. Start volunteering on one of our ministry teams. You see, we are not meant to do life in solitude or to face our struggles alone. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed, and three are even better. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.